Are you new in the solar branch? Or are you changing careers and you want to be part of the photovoltaic boom? Or do you already have experience, but just not with Fronius products? If you can answer any of those questions with yes, then you are perfectly right in this webinar. A very warm welcome to Get Successfully Started with Fronius Part 1. In this video, I will, as the name says, tell you everything you need to know to get successfully started with us. As there is part one, as you can imagine, there will be part two. If you like this webinar, then please note that the next part will follow in December and you are very welcome to, to watch this one as well. What will I do today? I will start with the company Fronius. Who are we? What do we stand for? What are important values to us? Of course, I will show you the products. I will start with the inverters but also show you our solutions for other consumption sectors. And in the end, I want to show you where you find further information and I will show you our homepage as well as our YouTube channel. I would say let's get started. As I said, we start with us, Fronius. Who are we actually? We can say we are a company located in Upper Austria with four sites and those sites, they are really close to each other, all within a 15 minutes drive. This is Pettenbach, this is Wels, the production site in Satellit and the site in Steinhaus. Günther Fronius, our founder, founded this company in 1945 in Pettenbach and he started very small. He started in a small wooden garage where he produced devices for charging old car batteries, so that those batteries do not have to be thrown away. Step by step, the company developed from a small family business into an international acting company. He started, as I said, with repairing car batteries. In the 1950s, the welding section followed and in the 1990s, the solar section followed. And this is the, the business unit we are currently in. The business is still family owned. You see here on the left hand side our founder Günther Fronus and his wife. He handed over to his children in the 1980s. And currently we are run by his granddaughter, Miss Elisabeth Strauss. She is our, she is our CEO and is running the company since 2013. Let me give you a few numbers. So over 1,400 patents are running on the name of Fronius. Around 7,000 employees are working worldwide and doing a turnover of around 1 to uh, 1.2 billion euros per year. Those two numbers, the number of employees and our turnover, this is a steadily changing number. Uh, I have to exchange this slide here. You can see every other week. Currently, Fronius is growing very, very strongly. Typically, for an Austrian company, we have a very high export rate. Almost 90% of our products are sold abroad and not in Austria. And having this in mind, it doesn't come as a surprise that we are represented in over 60 countries worldwide and having 37 subsidiaries to worldwide. If you talk about Thronius, then you have to talk about family business but you also have to talk about sustainability. This is one of the core values to the company and is very important to us. And it is not just that Fronius is producing, is producing inverters that enable producing green energy. It is also important for us that the production itself is going in a sustainable way. You see here a picture of the production site in Satlet. And as you can see, the whole production site is covered with modules. And not just Sadlet looks like this, also Wels, Steinhaus, Pettenbach, all the other sites, they, are, um, they look similarly. So Fronius is not just selling his products and his inverters, we are also using them for ourselves. And in this way we can say that 100% of the electrical energy on our sites is coming from renewable sources. And even if you also take account the sector's mobility and heating, then you still come to the conclusion that 88% is coming from renewable sources. 
And this already includes the electricity we are producing of, on ourselves. Almost 3,500 megawatt hours are coming out of our modules. What we are also proud of is that reparation and manufacturing of our product still happens in Austria. Fronios is keen on keeping the know-how for the green transition in Austria and in Europe and so that we do not have to import from other countries for, from Asia, for example. Still, 100% of all metal components and electronic PC ports are produced in Austria and as I said, also 100% of the assembly is done here. Our products, they are made to be uh, to be repaired and not to be thrown away if one piece is not working. For reparation, there is a repair center, so a repair site also located here and this is of the size of 4000 square meters. If we talk about durability, then I not only mean that our products, they are, as I said, they, are, they can be repaired. No, they are also running for a very long time. Our products are made to run 20 years plus and that this is not just an empty phrase, I can prove you here. You see here a picture of inverters of one of our customers. Maybe some of you knows or remembers those inverters. Those were the first ones we produced. Those are the Fronius Sunrise and they are from the year 1995. Those inverters, they are at our customer site and they are still running and they are still doing their duty even after 20 or over 20 years. This to the company and to our values, I will give you a product overview and I will start with the heart of a PV system with the inverters. For inverters, we are, have several series that we offer. The first series I want to show you is the Snap Inverter series. You see here the two product lines, one is uh, Primo and the other one is Simo. And those are two words that you will uh, come, uh, come across more often in the Fronius universe. Primo stands for single phase products and Simo for three phase products. Both the Primo and the Simo, they are available in kilowatt sizes of 3 to 8.2 kilowatt. The Simo has a small and medium variant and depending on this one or two MPP trackers. For all those of you who are running larger PV systems, then those inverters might not be enough. And then you might have a look at our commercial inverters. You see here the Fronius Simo Advanced. This is a three-phase inverter in a range from 10 to 20 kilowatts. Then there is the Fronius Echo. This, is, this Echo is available in sizes of 25 and 27 kilowatt. Echo is also a term that you will come across more often. Echo always means this product is weight and cost optimized. And on the other hand, the voltage range is a bit reduced. And then there is the Tauro. This is our largest inverter available in sizes of 50, 99 and 100 kilowatt. And there is also a standard and an eco version. And depending on which one you are choosing, it has one to three MPP trackers. And then there is our newest inverter series, the Fronius Gen 24 and Gen 24 Plus. Fronius Gen 24 Plus, the Plus stands for hybrid inverter. Those are inverters, they are compatible with batteries and offer, offer backup solutions. The Fronius Gen 24 without Plus, those are the successors of the Snap Inverter series. So the Snap Inverter series will run out and the Gen 24 will follow. The Gen 24 is not a hybrid inverter but it has a great feature. It can be upgraded anytime afterwards. So if customers are not sure if they want a hybrid solution or not, then they first can buy the Gen 24 and afterwards, if they are getting a battery, they can update it uh, remotely. The hybrid inverters, they are again available in Primo and Simo, so single phase and three phase, available in sizes from three to 10 kilowatt. Please note, if you want full backup solution, then you need the, the big versions, the large versions of the uh, Gen 24 Plus, only the, in classes from six to 10 kilowatt, those are, those are full backup ready. Both systems, Primo and Simo, and no matter the size, 
they have the they are, have the PV point ready. So what is PV point? PV point is a single power socket that can be run in uh, in case of a blackout. And for this single power socket, you this is already included the PV point, and you do not need to buy any additional features. These two our inverters. Let's now go to other solutions. And to start with this, please think of an of an average household. And in this household, we can divide the consumers in different categories, and we could do this in dividing them into three: in electricity, mobility, and heating. The electricity sector is more or less what we are all considering as electronic consumers. Fridge, a dishwasher, a TV, you name it, all this is included in the electricity sector. The mobility sector I think is quite obvious. This will mostly include a car, maybe an electric vehicle, maybe also an electric bike or a motorcycle. And in the heating sector not only includes the, the room heating, so the heating of the house, but also the warm water heating. The more sectors we can electrify and the more sectors can use PV energy, the more effective a PV system is running and the less it costs for the household. And so this is our goal. We want to include as many sectors as possible and Fronius offers several solutions for this goal. And I will start with the solution for the heating sector and this is the Fronius Ohm Pilot. What is the ohm pilot? The ohm pilot is a power regulator that can be connected to ohmic loads. This is mostly a heating rod that is put into a water boiler and then the ohm pilot is an, is an intelligent system. It realizes if there is PV surplus or not and it directs the PV surplus into the ohmic loads it is connected to. So whenever there is PV surplus it exactly takes this surplus and uses it for heating up warm water, for example. The own pilot can not only be connected to heating rods, but also to other devices, for example, infrared panels or electric underfloor heating. So you can also heat up rooms with the own pilot. Secondly, there is the watt pilot. The watt pilot is a similar device to the own pilot. It is also intelligent and it also realizes if and how much PV surplus is coming from the PV system. There are three different modi you can choose uh, with the Watt Pilot. The first one is a standard modus. You can choose the speed of loading of, uh, of charging. So you can choose the kilowatt that should be running into your car. And you can do this remotely. There's also an app coming with the Watt Pilot you see it here on the right hand side, the Solar Watt Pilot app. So also on the way you can, you can reach out to the Watt Pilot and tell him, please now get started with charging my car. This is the first modus and the second two, they are obviously the more interesting ones. There is the Echo mode. The Echo, in the Echo mode the Watt Pilot only uses PV surplus for charging the car. So this is a mode similar to what the own pilot is doing. And then, and this is probably the most important one, is the next trip mode. And the next trip mode, I want to, I want to tell you a bit more in detail. So what is it basically? The Watt Pilot is, you can enter a, a certain point of time and a certain amount of kilowatt hours you want your car to be charged with at this point of time. The Watt Pilot then is taking PV surplus in the first place. And if the PV surplus is not, a way, is not enough to reach the goal you set, then it is taking, is taking energy from the public grid to charge the car. Let me give you an example. Imagine you are going to work at 6 a.m. in the morning and you're going one way is 25 kilometers to work and back again uh, another 25 kilometers. So at 6 in the morning you need at least 50 kilometers in the tank of your car. You enter 6 a.m. and you enter 50 kilometers and the correspondent kilowatt hour, number of kilowatt hours into the Watt Pilot. And then the Watt Pilot is doing the following. It is charging with PV surplus. 
So let's say the car has, when sunset is going on, the car has 30 kilometers in the tank. Then the water pilot realizes 30 kilometers in the tank. I need 20 more and it is charging those 20 kilometers from public grid at night. So to sum up with the next trip mode, you get always the intended amount of energy at the desired time at lowest possible cost. And finally, the last solution I want to show you are batteries. When we ask our customers what their motivations are for installing a PV system, then often the motive of independence comes. So being independent of whatever developments in the world, being able to produce energy independently and be also ready for blackouts. And we can help our customers for realizing this motive a little bit at least with our battery solutions. So batteries have two big advantages. They help in blackout scenarios and secondly the, the batteries help decouple production from consumption of energy. So when there is a lot of PV energy available at noon for example the battery can be charged and the energy can be used in the evening or at night. Currently we have two batteries that are working with our inverters. On one hand this is the BYD battery, this is the one you see here on the picture and the other one is the LG Resuflex. Both of those batteries they work in a similar way. They are made of modules you can connect with each other. So here on the BYD battery you see those white blocks you can stack up on each other and depending on how many modules you are connecting the size of the battery varies as well as the charging and decharging speed. You might know it from other areas in your everyday life. Hardware is one thing but the other thing is software and the digital solutions and this is a field that becomes more and more important. And this is also a development that we at Fronios are aware of and we try to, to give you the best digital tools possible. So those digital tools, they, are, they should be your, your partner in your whole life of photovoltaic. So from planning over running the system, troubleshooting as well as for renovating and um, renewing existing plants. I will just give you a quick overview of the tools we have. First of all, there's the Fronio Solar Creator. This is a planning tool that is available freely on the internet. So everyone who is interested, you can just try it out. Just go on, just Google it, go on Fronio Solar Creator and you can design the, the PV system you wish. Secondly, there's the Fronio Solar Start app. This app shall help you commissioning and installing your, your Fronius products and this is an app that is designed uh, in a very intuitive way and should guide you and will guide you through the installing process. A very important app is the Fronius Solar SOS app. This is the troubleshooting we made for installers. So imagine the customer is calling you, he has a problem, he has an error message then you can enter this error message into the Fronio Solar SOS app. And if you're lucky, the Solar SOS app gives you already some suggestions that help you fixing the problem. If you're lucky, you are, the problem is already fixed. If this is not the case, then the Solar SOS app is the fastest way to get connected to our technical support. And they then will, will help you solving the problem. The SOS app is just a way of standardizing the process of troubleshooting and it should just give us and you also the, a very uncomplicated way of help. And finally, there are two other apps. There's the Fronius Solar Web app. This app is our analyzing and monitoring tool. So with this app, you can analyze production and consumption of PV systems. It is useful for end customers, but of course also for installers. And there are two different versions, the standard version and the premium version. The premium version of Solar Web costs in Austria 24 euros a year. Please note this price might vary between countries. So wherever you come from, wherever you are living in, please check the price for your country. What is the difference between premium and standard? The premium version offers just a little bit more features. Both versions are enough for 
basic analysis. Premium, for example, gives you the possibility to trace the consumption and production data back in the past. With the standard version, you can only look back three days. So as I said, it just gives you more possibilities, especially it's recommended for installers who want to, who want to consult their customers. And they can do this with the SolarWeb Premium, probably more accurate. And finally, there's the Fronios Repowering app. This is the app you can use for replacing inverters. So if you have an old Fronios inverter and you want to exchange it with a new one, then this tool exactly tells you which, which inverter you should take. Of course, we are also happy if you want to replace an, an third-party inverter with a Fronios inverter. Of course, then also this app will help and guide you. This is it to the products, to the digital solutions, to the company itself. And finally, as promised in the beginning, I want to take you to our homepage and I want to show you where you find further information. We just go on our website. This is fronews.com. Please note above here, you can choose the websites of the daughters, but we are going on the international websites and below here, you can choose the language, German or English, and we are choosing we are choosing English for now. Then you end up here. You can select the business unit up here. As I said, there are three welding, charging and solar energy. And obviously we are, we choose solar energy. Then you see here this gray bar here on top. And here you can choose the direction you're coming from. Are you a homeowner? Are you a business owner or are you an installer? And I assume that most of you are installers, so I will also click here on installer and partners. And then you can choose here from six categories and I will show you the four most important. First of all, if you're looking for any products, um, then you go on products and solutions and you can choose either an inverter or here, whatever you're interested in. I will just click here on heating solutions and then you get all the information you need to heating solutions. So this is in a nutshell, I told you now in this webinar here, it is a little bit more in detail. So you see here, all you need to know about the inverters, about the device you need for, for making hot water. Um, solar web is mentioned here. And if you go below, then you also get the technical data and you also see the downloads here. And if you are, if you are, if this is the most important thing for you, if you directly want to go into the hard facts, then it is recommended to just click here on technical data. You also could, can choose a product here. We will just take the own pilot again and then you, you get, uh, you get all the technical details, the details for installing you need to know. On the right hand side here in the download area, you not only find data sheets, but also, also manuals, also white papers. So those are some, some works we did, some investigations we did on the product, uh, user information, data sheets, all this you can find here. Then I strongly recommend to go on service and support. And here you can, if you click on trainings and webinars, you can register for, for other webinars. You see here current webinars, also webinar recordings. And you can also register for face-to-face -face trainings. So those are the classical trainings. You come to us to Wales and you get a, a full day of training on a specific topic. So for example, there is a face-to-face -face training on uh, batteries and storage solutions. So you come to Wales and you get to know everything you need to know about the, the, those kind of products. We also have the batteries and of course our inverters here. So you can, you can also see them live and, and working. Then please note that Fronius is not doing direct sales. So if you want inverters or our solutions, you cannot go to, you cannot buy them directly from Fronius. You have to contact a wholesaler. If you do not know which wholesaler you can reach out to, then you can click here on contact and here on find sales partner. Then you go on find sales partner. 
you can enter your address here and then this map will show you the closest partners in your area and to whom you can reach out to. And finally, there is one more thing I want to show you. Uh, you is also strongly recommended to go to our YouTube channel. You can either click here on the shortcut or of course you can just go on the internet, click YouTube and enter Fronius and then you will, you will also end up uh, you will also end up here. What can you find in our YouTube channel? On one hand, old webinars, and by old I do not mean old and outdated, but already recorded ones that are still that are still uh, relevant. And on the other hand, you find so-called how-to videos. What are how-to videos? Those are very short and precise videos that concentrate on one single problem. The idea is the following: Imagine you're going to the customer. A problem occurs, you do not know, not know the solution. You do not have to contact us and you do not have to leave the customer again. You just go on YouTube, enter the problem and if you're lucky, you find exactly the solution to it. You can watch this short video on site and you are well informed and find the solution. Also, it comes in handy if your customer has a problem and, um, and you don't need to deal with this problem, you can just send him the link to a how-to video. Imagine the following case, your customer has forgot his password for, for his inverter, let's say. He asks you, how can I change it? And you can, there's a how-to video on this topic, you can just send him the link, you tell him, please watch the video, there's everything you need to know and you do not have to, to deal with this problem any further. So, if you have a moment of time, just take a look. It's really worth a visit our YouTube channel. There is not a lot more I need to tell you. I hope you like this webinar. I just show you where you find further information. Please visit the homepage or the YouTube channel. Please remember, this is Get Started Successfully with Fronios part one. If you are interested in part two, this, this part will air at the beginning of December. So please feel free to join again. Other than that, there's nothing more to say. I wish you um, a good day and I hope to see you soon again. Bye bye.